So I mentioned that the uh, Korean pair potential winners of the gold medal, but there's no doubt that in the women's doubles, Oo Young and Wang Xiali are the number one seeds. They're the strong favourites, number one in the Royal Rankings. So a tough task ahead for the Swedish pair of Emily Lennartsson and Emma Wengberg. Here are the number one seeds then. A partnership that played against one another in last year's women's double finals. Wang and Ma losing to Duanu in two games. It's a, a horrible draw for Lennartsen and Wengberg. There's no doubt about it. And not only is it a horrible draw for them, it's a horrible draw for them again. Because they met them first up at the All England as well. <laughs> They must have thought, oh, here we go. Not again. Not again. <laughs> no. I mean, Morton, the, these two are, are almost unbeatable. I mean, I'm talking about their results. We'll have a look at their win-loss record in a second, but they are pretty incredible as a pair. They're really good. Uh, this is this is the category where you can say China is completely dominant. Yeah. They they have they can play almost eight pairs and and, and still win it. They have so many. I know Korea now and again are, are, are having a good pair and all that. But I'm telling you, this is uh, this well, is the event. Well, the Korean pair aren't here because uh, Kim's hip, hip injury. The number five seeds have had to yeah. have had to pull out. So I mean, it makes them even more dominant. It's, it's it's unbelievable. Well, here they are. Okay, get ready for the stats because they are very impressive. Have they lost? Well, since forming their <laughs> partnership, they played in 11 <laughs> tournaments. They've been in 10 finals and have eight titles. Yeah. It doesn't get much better than that, does it? Hence that world ranking of number one. Yeah. Just two defeats in their whole partnership together. Five victories in 2011 includes the All England, the Asian Badminton Championships. They've lost just one match this year. And that was when their compatriots, King Tian and Yunlai Zhao, beat them in the Malaysian Open Super Series in January. So they haven't lost now for six, seven months. Yeah. So that's the number one pairing in the world. What about the number 29 pairing in the world? What do Lennartsen and Wengberg do here to ruffle a few feathers? Is it making sure they did enough praying last night or...? <laughs> <laughs> have they got anything really that can trouble them? No, they, they probably do not have anything. But uh, they've won a couple of tournaments this year. I, I, I actually admire this uh, ladies' doubles pair because um, you know whenever you see them, whoever they play, whatever they do, they give their best. You know, it's never like oh, it's not a good day or you know they they, they perform, they do the best they can, and they fight. They are on their knees, they do whatever they can. They really, really fight and, you know, hats off for that. Obviously, they, it's, it's an overmatch, this one, and, uh, but I still expect them to go in and say, OK, every point we get is the victory. So they've been in England this year already in Birmingham. They faced this two in the first round. Here they are now in the World Championships facing these two again. They've been mm. thinking, come the Olympic draw, surely they've got to <laughs> help us out somewhere <laughs> they, along the They computers. get a pair from Mauritius. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can see her now, just uh, 21 years of age. Oo Young, she's the, the main girl, if you like, 25 years of age. Won seven titles in 2010 with three different partners. She is the golden ticket, isn't she, mm -hmm. really, Oo Young? Yeah. She's very powerful, really attacking player. And that's, I think it's the change in the latest doubles lately, is the fact that for so many years we've been sort of getting used to the fact that uh, it's clear drop, clear drop, because the defence is so strong, there's no point in attacking, and we just uh, play for hours and see who can keep it in. She's a little pocket dino, isn't she? <laughs> um, she uh, busies herself around the court, as you say, got some great power. She's got a lot of power, and now, lately, as I say, ladies' doubles is changing, and uh, they're becoming a lot, lot more aggressive. Well, it's... It would be fair to say they're beaten before they come on court here, then it's in November, because as Morton was saying, they are a good partnership. On my right, Wang Xiaoli, Yu Yang, China. On my left, Emily Lennartson, Emma Wenberg, Sweden.
Yu Yang to serve to Emma Wengberg, level play. Swedish pair been playing a lot of badminton One. recently they played in America, they played in Canada. It's been a month off for the Chinese, hasn't it? Mm. They didn't play in J July at all. Yeah, but you know, it's a, there are advantages uh, both ways. It, it doesn't really matter. I think what matters is that you're, you're ready here, you've done your preparation, you really want to go out and, and, and prove yourself. And I'm sure that uh, either way One. is equally good. It's been a train. I mean, they haven't just been putting their feet up, have they? No, China, no, no. They've been China, in an been intensive training, <laughs> training camp. Absolutely training. Service over to all. Power. That was fast. Yeah, blinking, you would have missed it. Yep. And Wangbird did. <laughs> That's why I think the Swedish pair has to watch out a bit. Um, it sounds maybe a, a foolish statement, this one, but I think they have to make it more physical. Uh, they have to play a lot more uh, shots to the baseline, a lot more clears, and, and, and try to stay a flat, uh, away from the flat ex uh, exchanges and try to stay away from all that you know, really fast and furious because that's not where they're the best. They have to make it a running game in order to, to stay in the match for as long as possible. So lots of clears and lots of drops and not too many smashes. Well, every point greeted with a smile. Three, seven. And then Berg with the drop. It's just so hard, isn't it, to, to maintain spirits? It is, but as stuff. I say, they just have to set them self uh, smaller goals say okay is 10 and 10 okay is 15 and 15 okay what's okay we've got to push ourselves and you know improve ourselves because it was 21 6 21 10 when they met Service last back in march at the all england then you know for me is to say okay we need to get 25 Eight, points three total say okay that's what we're going to do that's the target I think that's where they have to watch out. They're lucky they get out of that one, but that's where they have to watch out. Service over for eight. That was good. 
And so, again, so you know, I would probably nine, opt for four. a higher percentage of, of uh, flick serves, high serves, rather than going for the low serves, because that's where the pressure is coming. Oh, well, there we are. Bit of miscommunication there between Service over. Wu and Wang there. Five, nine. Too often, oh, often a lot of sign symbols. Is that just to say flick or? or yeah, I think so. I think so. But uh, I've discussed it with Julian a, a few times, and and you know, I think it's a little bit of hocus pocus because you know, I, I think when you when you make decisions Service like that, I think it should be a joint decision, five. not a decision by the one that's serving. So you know, if if you're a good partnership, just about you know, they can talk Swedish. I'm sure the, the Chinese have no chance of understanding. <laughs> they can say whatever they want. Sure. Five interval. Well, Eleven five, the margin for the Chinese pair at the interval. That's the beauty about Danish. You know, we can talk whatever. Nobody can understand us. That's true. Well, a Jew can understand one or two words. <laughs> one of <or> you. <laughs> Just five minutes it took for them to get to the 11 point stage. Annars är det bra tycker jag med men inte samma sak när ni trycker de med på det turen då. Ja, kort i tillbaka så trycker det så måste vi vara snabbt. Ja. Ni bara lägger hem. Trycker tycker jag. Tycker jag. Bra. Hej Swedish is Jonas Hergård. I used to play him in men's singles donkey years ago and he's uh, now the uh, the new national coach in, in in Sweden and what he was saying is that exactly Eleven, what I was saying five. watch out when you're playing the flat stuff Play. do you get coaches in badminton more than Silva, haven't six, played at 11. international level before as you would sometimes in in football uh, yes, yes, we do. Especially a lot of the coaches coming out of Denmark hasn't been uh, players um, of high standard themselves, but they go through a very, very good education. And, and uh, actually, I'm in minority. I'm, you know, being uh, one of uh, those that played myself. We're very few actually in the right. Danish system. Okay. So over in Asia, the tradition six. is totally different. It's all ex-players. It's a shame in a way, and it's no fault really of uh, Lenson and Vengbo, but six. this isn't really a contest where you, you feel like the Did result it? is in any danger at all. No, no, we don't. But uh, it's you know they could have had uh, any other draw, and I think they could have played uh, good matches and even. We're won talking about some. the Swedes here. Yes, oh, yeah. yes. So it's a very unlucky draw for them. But I like the spirit. You know, I, I like the spirit. They they talk together. Say, okay, what are we going to do now? They are. 13 6 down Service okay next one this was good this was bad Seven, i like the communication they, they're really trying no mistake in judgment there from wang seal out That's really, really good power. But again, Service the opportunity is set up because the lift is very seven. flat and obviously she's generating power from the flat lift as well. So it's, it's double, double pace. Where, you know, maybe she should have lifted it a lot, lot higher and made sure that it was going to the baseline. Like that. 
and you know just keep patient game like what the Japanese would do That's a good example of just lifting it high enough, making sure that you get your defense up and up and going, and you know, give yourself time. And obviously, uh, the Chinese players nothing to play with. They lost in the Malaysian Open. They also lost at the uh, Asian Games to as well as any other defeat that they've had as a partnership. Of course, it was in its infancy then. Well, they've improved on the All England Eleven Championships by getting seven. to 11 points. And as you said, talking about those mini goals. Mm. Almost halfway of 25. That's good. Really good play there. Rack it up. The bell alert at 17. the net. Intercepted. Really good play. That's three points in a row. There we go. See what I mean? You know, just lifting high, making sure they stay in the game. That's it. That's really good play. 13, 17. Service over. Oh, what a shame to bring in it, have a run like that to an 18, end with a serve 13. like that. It was a good run. And really a lot of good points. It's too flat. See, that's that's where it's getting too flat. They generate too much power from 19, that. 19-30. And then that one is too flat. Did it just Might have clip, just clipped the line. Did it clip the line just on the outside? It's, that's one of those either way. Well, let's save one game point here of uh, Service over and 14, back. 20. Game. So 21-14. First game won by Wang Xiaoli, Yu Yang, 21-14. A 
was going to say, do they need a coach at this stage in this match? Probably not. Well, I would say in, in, the, in the respect uh, to your opponent, yes, you do what you always do. Are you able to understand the yeah it's, that it's, it's again there is a smile on the face for, from the girls when they say they are really really good in the flat uh, interchanges you know they don't do that and then and again uh, did the coach agree with me that not too flat lift because it's just generating too much power for an opportunity for for the opponents. So lift a little bit higher, be ready in Second your defence and play with them. Level play. One love. been such a hit over the years. I mean, Four, won one. the Olympic gold with Hei Han Bin. World number one with Du Jing, now world number one here with Wang Xiaoli. She was also part of uh, mixed doubles bronze team as well. Bad luck. Service over. It's a good drop five, shot. It's just four. wide of the line. Six, 
Thor. I think the Swedish pair has done pretty well in the beginning of this set. Even though I know they're 6-2 down, I think the rallies has been good. They've done a lot of uh, good things tactically, so you know, they've just got to stick with it. It's just out, but yeah, you're right. I mean, it's the sad. idea was fine. The yeah. idea was good. It's not often you play a, a, a badminton hey. match, and you know th Ooh. these are good players in in Lennartson and Veng, but you don't often play a match and even your own family probably don't think you've got a chance of winning. Mm, no. But that, that is the case here, isn't it, really? It is. So relish the experience. Try and take something from it, and I think they are. I think so too, and that's what I said from the very beginning. I, I admire this pair because they work. Got Nine. very good attitude. Cool. So even even now they're nine two down. They're still discussing what to do. Ten, two. To credit to Lennartson there, yeah, she dug in, she stuck so with it, and she got the rewards, and it ends six points in a row for the Chinese. She had no right to get one or two of those back. Uh, there's four courts on here at Morton, and it's interesting that on, on the court adjacent, we've got the Chinese women's doubles number one pair here, and of course, Next. adjacent is the, yeah. the men's doubles number one pair, yeah. Kai and Fu are playing. Yes. Service over, 11, 4, interval. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. There's the interval coming up with uh, an 11 4 lead. It's, uh, as I say, sometimes it is a, a fait accompli, and um, this is the case here against Wang Anu. Doesn't happen too often, though. That's all down to the quality and ability of these world number one pair. Hon står på den sidan. Prova bara. Du gjorde det en gång. Det var skitbra. Så det är helt rätt. Det skulle vara en gång. Jag var säga att vad vi försöker, så är de alltid stående där. Men vi måste still have to try to see if we can find the gaps. You know, I, I don't obviously understand a word of Swedish, but I could tell what she was saying. You know, <laughs> whatever uh, we're we trying. Do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where, wherever, whatever we do, they're still coming back. Eleven four. Young, young. Play. Well left. Service over. Been a Five. long way up there Five. to get that one if that was over. Oh. Service over to Bell. Five. It's good that interception of the third shot there is unlucky, it's going out. 
Well, again, it was a good try. Uh, very well played, really well played. 13, that drop shot played back five. by the Chinese pair. That one played there, that's really nice. out of the court is standing way 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 back to defend and the pressure is just becoming more and more She was a little bit too late to try to play a shot like that. But uh, obviously the results prove the right on that one. Oh, that's good. Very early. Lucky with the net call, but still, the idea was really good. Six, 15. Get up there, the next one there. Look at that. Nice. Yep. And, and they're relishing each point one, aren't they? But that's what I say. Every, every point is a victory. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, three Japanese pairs in the uh, top seven over, seats here in this women's doubles. But six. Oh, I mean, Chen and Chiang, obviously, the Chinese Taipei at number two as well. But it's hard to see how these two are going to be beaten. Yeah, they can be beaten, but... Uh, Maybe the, their fellow Chinese pair, the, uh, they can do the number it. five seeds. Is that margin? Uh, uh, Zhao and Tian. Oh, yeah. OK, yes. Yeah. Who, who, have won, you know, who have beaten them. Yeah, once before. Yeah. 17-6. But I, if I had some money, which which I'd like, <laughs> yeah. if someone said to me, you got you know yeah, one gold one. medal to choose. Oh. Yeah. This this would be the pair and the gold medal that I would choose. 18, I agree. Six. This is one of the safest bets in the, in the whole tournament. Not only in ladies' doubles, but for for all five oh. categories. Yeah. Service over, seven, eight. Service over, 19, seven. So two more points is all that's required from Wang and Wu. Match points. 20, match point, seven. Service over, 8.20. It's all very chilled and relaxed, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. There will be tense times here, though. Game. And there's the mistake on the serve that ends the match. Well, despite giving it their best shot, it was, wasn't it, very comfortable for Wu Yang and Wang Xiali. 21, 14, 21, 8. Wang Xiao Li, Yu Yang, 21, 14, 21, 8. And I suppose for Lennartson and Wengberg, it'll be next draw. We'd like to meet you a little later in the tournament if we're going to play you. <laughs> yes, please. Another first round exit in England in the hands of the world number one pair who will meet the winner of the match later on tonight. The number nine seeds, Duang Gong and Kuchara of Thailand. 
uh, playing Sandra Marinello and Brigitte Michels. So uh, here's some of the statistics from the match. And Ooh. well, <laughs> they were always going to be that way, aren't they? Overhead winners, 27 to 12. That's uh, that's a massive difference. Massive. So a very commanding, very dominant and a strong message from the world number ones and the strong favorites. Wu Young and Wang Xiaoli comfortably through to the next round of the women's doubles. Thank you.